Do you need to sort data, but you don't want to include the first two or three characters of your sort column? Keep watching and I'll show you how. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today what I want to do is show you how to sort a set of data like we've got here by missing out the first few characters of a string. So for example here we've got location code and it starts with two letters then it's got a number and then it's got two letters. So often people like to set up what's called a helper column where it, you extract certain parts of that string so that you can actually use that as a helper column for sorting your data. So we've got three choices really. We can extract the right part of a string. So we'll do that here using a function called write. So we start with equals and start typing write. There it is. So we want the text. So that will be this cell here, E2. Then you put a comma and then it's asking you for the number of characters. Well, this is OK if the size of the string is exactly the same each time. So let's say we don't want the first two characters. So let's count back one, two, three, four, five. So we want the five characters to the right hand side. So just put the number five in there, close the bracket and enter. And there is your five characters to the right of that code and we can send that down and now we can sort by this particular column okay if you want to do it the other way for whatever reason we can do the same with the left function so we can type equals left open bracket the text is that code there comma and then you could say how many characters you want to sort by. So let's say we want to sort by four characters, for example. We put the number four, close the bracket and enter. And you'll see that that's extracted the first four characters of that string. And then we can send that one down. But sometimes you want to remove characters from both ends. So in this case, we want the numbers we don't want any of the text characters. So we'll use what we call the mid function. So you just type equals mid, open bracket. The text is that string just there in E2. And you need a start number. Well, we want to start from the third character along. So the third one is that first number. So comma, put a three, that's your start number then a comma, and then it wants to know how many characters. Well, in this case, it's three characters because there's three numbers between those letters on all of these. So you just put another three, close the bracket and enter, and there is your number. And we can send that down. Now, if you want that, I'll just send that down. If you want that to be seen as a real number, because at the moment it's left justified so it indicates that that could be seen as text what you need to do let's just edit this again so after the equal sign put value and what value does it converts text numbers into numbers so let's put another bracket at the end so that mid function is the argument for that value function and you see when I enter that now right justifies so I can send that down and we've now got real numbers over on the right. So hopefully that short video has helped those of you that want to extract parts of a string to help you sort your data. So if I wanted to now sort all of this data from the lowest number to the highest number and just to prove this works I'll highlight this first one and I'm going to make that red and bold just so that we can see that it sorts all of this data just click 
one cell in this helper column doesn't matter which cell just one cell and then come up to your data tab and then over to one of these small a to z's now i want smallest to largest so that would be a to z click that one and that's just sorted the whole data you'll see 151 is the first number there and if we just scroll down we've got to look for that red line to make sure it's still together there it is just there so it has sorted the data perfectly and we can now continue so just to take these lefts and right functions a stage further in those first three examples we knew the exact number of characters that we wanted to extract in this example i want to extract all the characters before the at sign in an email address so that's to the left of the at sign so we have to do this in a slightly different way because there's a different number of characters for each email address so we start off with equals left like we did before we want the left of this email address here and we want the number of characters well we don't know exactly how many characters each one is so what we have to do is get Excel to count it so what we're going to do is use the find function so we put find open bracket and we want to find the text or the character the at signs so we put that into speech marks and you put a comma and it's from within the text well that's the email address that's b2 in this case that will tell us how many characters up to the at sign so we can close the bracket but the problem is that's one character too many we want everything before it so if you just do minus one close the bracket and enter and that should bring everything back in front of the at sign so the find counts up to the at and then we subtract one which takes us to the last character before the at sign okay so that extracts that now we could do the same with the rights by extracting let's say the domain name part of the email address so everything to the right of the at sign so this time we do equals right open bracket and we want and we want to extract everything to the right from this text so that's b2 comma and then it wants to know the number of characters so what we have to do first of all we need to, we need to get the number of characters counting back well of course this is a different size every time so if we find the length of the whole of the email address and then subtract from that the length from the beginning of the email up to the at sign that will give us how many characters left so first of all to find the length of the whole thing we use len open bracket and then click the email address and close the bracket that gives us the length of the whole email address but we now want to subtract from that everything up to the at sign so we put the minus sign in and then we do what we did before we use the find open bracket and we want to find the at sign so we put that into speech marks comma and it's from within the text that email address so that's b2 and then we can close the bracket so basically we've got the length of the whole email address minus all the characters up to the at sign so i've closed the bracket for the find i now need to close the bracket for the right and then press enter and you'll see that has returned cbc.ca and then we can send that down and we've got the right hand side now if we wanted the bit before the dot and after the at we then use the mid so this is the domain before the dot so let's use the mid so it's equals mid the text we want is from that email address so that's b2 comma now the start number would be just as before it's everything up to the at and one more this time because we want to count up to at 
and then add one. So to do that, we use the find, and we want to find the at sign. So we put that into speech marks, comma, and that's from within the text. Again, we have to put B2 there, close bracket, and we want to, as we're trying to find the first character, so it's up to the at sign, plus one. Okay, so that gets us to the start point, and now we need to know the number of characters that we're going to extract. So we put a comma, and to get this, we need to count everything up to the full stop, minus one, and then minus from that figure, everything up to the at sign. So in other words, we're counting how far it is up to the full stop and back one. So that'll tell us how many characters up to this C, for example, the one before the dot. And, but then we need to subtract the number of characters up to the at sign. So let's get the number of characters up to the full stop. So this will be find, and we've got to find the full stop this time, comma, within the text B2, how many characters up to the full stop. If we minus one, that would give us how many characters up to the character before the full stop. And then we want to subtract from that the number of characters up to the at sign. So we just use find, open bracket. We want to find the at sign, so we put that into speech marks, comma, within the text B2, close the bracket for the find, close the bracket for the mid and press enter and there we have cbc and if we send this down we should have all the names from the at sign up to the dot which we have hopefully that's helped you and you've enjoyed that short video if you did like it please give me the thumbs up and if, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing so that you don't miss future videos thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next video